All right, so this was the fourth single off of Breaking Point, second music video we've done. Um, we did it with Aflux Studios in West Palm Beach, Florida. Personally, it's my favorite song from the album and favorite music video. It's just super more detailed and just was like more of a story. Um, the song is essentially about being in, uh, it's definitely a relationship song, and it's about you know finally learning when to let go of that person. Um, I really wanted to write a song like this on the album because it's a topic I think everybody deals with um, every single day, you know, every day. So it's it's something I feel like that's really relatable and I do deal with it myself or have. So, um, yeah. Yeah, shooting this video with Bobby from Aflux was awesome because he had like a really cool vision for it. Um, the scenes we're actually playing all together were in like a, a warehouse. It was honestly a truck repair shop. Where we shot it, and, and um, they were repairing. They were trucks repairing trucks while we were there, there, and it was so hot in that warehouse. We all were wearing long sleeves, and it was like oh, it was awful. disgustingly hot. Um, and then the the shots of just Tyler were actually in their studio. They built out a little set, um, and it was pretty cool. He was on like a harness, and we we're like ripping him back and forth and stuff. Yeah, so for like some of the scenes in the video, it's like an unknowing force is like pulling me away. So basically what they did after shooting for like 12 hours, they're like, all right, well, we need to do these scenes, which happened to be like the most like strenuous. So they put me in like this body harness and there was like a massive bean bag behind me to like break my fall. So they were like one, two, three, and then pull me, but no one could ever get it right on like the right timing. So like my body would just be pulling back and forth the entire time. And like, it was actually pretty painful to like an extent, but yeah, it was, it came out really good. And like the shots look really authentic and yeah. yeah. It was actually really nice working with Bobby and everybody at Aflux. We've known them for like super long time, like almost 10 years. So it was great like working with some really close friends that we actually like hang out with every day. And we happened to do a music video with them and it was so much fun. Yeah. Another aspect to the video that was like crazy was um, the shots where you could see the members like frozen in time. We actually stood frozen in time for like 40 seconds at a time. And like there's one shot towards the end of the video coming up that like I'm like in the middle of a spin and I had to hold my guitar in place for like 40 seconds. Yeah, it yeah was that like, was crazy. Yeah, that was Honestly, like holding my arms like up in the air yeah. for like sticks. Like We had for, to go oh. do different poses for each member too for their frozen crazy. part. So it was like yeah. a lot of work. We had to do that so many times. Yeah, and then uh, we had the, there's like parts where like our guitars get pulled away from us and they like tied rope to the guitar and like rip it out of our hand, which there's one in the video here. And then... um. I like how mine turned out. You can't even... It, yeah. it just looked like I was spinning my guitar. Mine's like, sick. Right, it was cool anyway. I love mine too. So yeah, if you haven't seen this video, like, watch it because it's definitely my favorite one. Damn. I think the video as a whole, like, it it just flows really, really well. I think the concept there is awesome. And yeah, I haven't watched it in like a couple weeks and watching it now, I'm like, damn, that's a cool video. Yeah, it is. It was definitely a really fun video to shoot. And then uh, the there's some shots in it that they're like, through the people of the door that's in there, which is like cool. It wasn't like it was obviously it wasn't through it, shots. but like it was like a fisheye that made it look like it was being shot through it, and it was just really cool to see how they like make those kinds of things happen. A lot like, of movie magic. On yeah, this there was one. Yeah. definitely some movie magic on this one, which was like cool to like actually deal with for once. Uh, you mentioned uh, you know watching videos on MTV, and the one that always comes to my mind no matter what is Helena by My Chemical Romance from like watching the videos on MTV because they played it like t 30 times a day. And uh, I mean, I don't think we could ever pay homage to that video personally, but it's just one that like immediately ingrained into my brain from like a young age. What was the corn video with the bullet flying through? What song was that uh, for? Freak on a Leash. Yeah. Freak on a Leash. Uh, that is one of my yeah, favorite videos that was, ever. That was, they did that for a movie, right? I'm, I'm not sure. Not I think sure. doing like, what is that Armor for Sleep song? Car underwater, uh, yeah. where the car is actually underwater. I would love to do like something like yeah, that. Yeah, like actually, we did pay homage Weird, to, to yeah. Lincoln Park a little bit on our video that we just did for holding on because, like, the way we're standing in a circle, we kind of got that around Tyler. We kind of got that idea from the uh, is it the numb video? Yeah, where they're all in the I studio and he's in numb, the middle yeah. and he's yeah, that, that was like where the idea came from. But yeah, aerials, dude, that video terrified me as a kid, but I love it. got the disco. I write sins, not tragedies. That That's video would be video. so sick. It's like totally yeah, you're not the top even hat? Yeah, great. bro. Like That's having right. like carnies come in and everything. Like, <laughs> we've always wanted to like make these videos as real as possible. So for like, we did a music video for a song on our last album, Pain and Pleasure, and I had to wear like these massive like metal chains around my wrists 
just tied them on there, zip tied them, and it was painful. So like a lot of the scenes where you see like there's like a, an expression of pain, it's legitimate because those things sucked. Yeah, it was, it was a, awful. Yeah. Yeah. My arms were like swollen sweat. for like two days afterwards. It was, it was our, all of our music videos are a really good like perspective into our live show for sure because like you know we try and bring like the the most like in your face live show that we can regardless if we're playing soft songs or heavy songs or what have you so I, I think that that's definitely something that you can always get from our music videos I don't think there's any of them where we're like not true to our live show and our videos if that makes sense go listen to the album it's something we worked really really hard on and I think breaking point is the best album of 2019 so far I'm biased, I'm sorry. Yeah, that's my no, favorite same album. Thing. It's, <laughs> I listen to our album at least once a day when I'm at home still, and it's just a banger all the way through. What's your favorite song? My favorite song? Oh man, Broken Home, honestly. Broken Home. It's the well. softest Sacrifice, song on the CD, baby. let alone the heaviest song on the CD. Sacrifice your favorite song? So, mm -hmm. It's. Mine yeah. was Breaking Point for sure, because like, that's like definitely the most out there song on the heavy side. So, But there's definitely, definitely something Breaking for Point everybody on, on Breaking record. Point. Yeah. You want to listen to a soft song? Broke at home. You want to listen to Off the Wall Chaos, PSA. Sacrifice, PSA. Well, you want to listen to, yeah, like a, <laughs> there's something literally for everyone on that album. But we are Afterlife. Uh, thank you for watching our commentary and holding on. Right after this video, like, comment, and subscribe to APTV to further watch videos. Fire. Fire. Fire for we sure. want to do pyro. Absolutely. We see other artists do it. And we're like, all right, so, you know, if they could do it, why can't we? Yeah, definitely some pyro would be crazy. Be so sick, yeah. yeah.